Intel News 8 Storm Team Forecast with meteorologist Matt Moore. Well, it's not exactly how we wanted to start off the 4th of July holiday, that's for sure. Some showers working their way through, pretty overcast, and if you're not seeing the showers, well, you're seeing a little bit in the way of some mist and some drizzle out there. We're looking live from our Harrisburg SkyCam right now. You can see the lowered visibilities, the gray, gloomy conditions. Some light showers being reported in and around Harrisburg, although the uh, current observation coming in just overcast here. 67 degrees this morning. We're really not going to go a whole lot higher than this, maybe about 5 to perhaps 10 degrees warmer uh, than that current number. And that's because we are dealing with easterly winds. We're going to be in the clouds for the most part all day long. And we do have some showers that we are watching right now and uh, for really the rest of the morning hours. Already starting to see the back edge of this system, though. So that's the good news. It's not a, a complete washout for us at all. In fact, uh, once the back edge of the system moves through, we'll actually start to see improving conditions and just in time for all of those fireworks displays later this evening. But in the meantime, if you're planning on doing some grilling outside, you may want to have someone stand next to you with the umbrella because we are going to be dealing with these hit or miss on and off showers in some pockets of moderate rain now moving through the Lewistown area. Also, another pocket of moderate rain uh, heading out of Franklin County into western Adams County at this time. Temperature wise, generally sitting into the 60s. And like I said, we're really not going to go a whole lot higher than that as we go into the later parts of this afternoon. So cloudy and cooler today in the News 8 Storm Team forecast. And we have uh, Carlisle here in the background. We'll see a few showers and perhaps a rumble of thunder or two, but it'll start to taper off as we head through the afternoon hours. And we'll see the highs again, 68 to 74 degrees. And tonight, that's when we really start to see things drying out for us. The skies will start to clear areas of fog will likely develop, especially since we have wet ground, cooling temperatures, and the skies clearing tonight. Lows fall down to the low 60s and watching uh, for some patchy, dense fog in a few areas. And areas that see the fog forming will have to deal with that tomorrow morning, but should burn off very quickly with that early July sun angle, getting back into the sunshine tomorrow afternoon. And the second half of the holiday weekend looking much better than the first half, that's for sure. Now, looking at the last Last seven days of rainfall here in the farm forecast, 1.17 inches, and all of that fell in the last four days of June. We haven't actually had any um, measurable precipitation so far this July, with the exception of today. However, we're, so that's why we are seeing that deficit so far in the month of July, but we're only four days in. Soil temperatures into the mid to upper 60s. The soil moisture very wet all across the Susquehanna Valley. And as we go through the next 10 days, I do believe not only will the temperatures be above average, but I do think the precipitation will be as well. So we're going to continue this rainy pattern or this unsettled pattern as we go into the next 10 days, it looks like. Right now, our dew points are hovering in the low 60s. We have a stationary front down to the south, keeping all of the uh, muggy air down to the south. All the dry air up to the north and really portions of the Great Lakes up into upstate New York, they're going to have a pretty nice 4th of July. We're going to be watching this uh, weak area of low pressure slide by to our south, running right along that stationary front down to our south. And watch what happens this afternoon. Besides a few showers here and there, as we go through the afternoon hours, all of that pretty much moves off to the east, and we're left with just a couple of stray showers here and there, maybe a rumble of thunder as that system pulls away. Now, as we head into Sunday itself, we're going to be starting off with a little bit of that fog, but then we break back out into the sunshine. Highs climb up into the middle 80s, and we stay into the sunshine. Actually, a pretty nice day overall. Now, as we go into Monday, there is a weak disturbance that's going to try and lift to the north, so that's going to bring increasing cloudiness for us and also the chance of a stray afternoon shower or two. So, overall, the end of the holiday weekend looking pretty nice. But if you're going to the bay today, we're going to be dealing with some of those showers and also that northeast wind. 75 degrees down towards the bay waters and at the beaches. Same kind of story. Pretty unsettled day today, but as we head into tomorrow, and if you are still taking off the Monday for the extended holiday weekend, Looking pretty good there, too. Clouds and sunshine uh, with increasing clouds later on into the Tuesday uh, daytime. Now, as we head through the rest of the seven day forecast here in the Susquehanna Valley, well, we'll be watching for those scattered showers today, of course, but it looks much better for those fireworks displays this evening. Way better day for tomorrow with a lot more sunshine, but we stay pretty warm, pretty muggy, and also with the chances of some showers all the way through that seven day forecast. So I will say, uh, you know, morning activities, maybe early afternoon activities, just have maybe a backup if you see some of those showers. This evening, though, fireworks looking good to go. And people looking forward to the golf next week. That's right. People will be watching those late storms late in the week. Right, and the happens. tournament itself starts on Thursday, Friday. Could be some showers and storms. We'll keep our eye on it. Thank you, Matt. Appreciate mm -hmm. it very much. Well, now,